People who live alongside an irrigation canal in South Bakersfield contacted 23 ABC because they say the water district there is ignoring their concerns about vandalism. 23 ABC's Mark Christian is live from the area with the latest developments tonight in this ongoing dispute. Mark? That's right, Todd. I'm here off of Sitcha Street, right in front of a no trespassing sign, illegal access to the canal. Some say it's an issue of safety and security, as you can see over here. Others say it's an issue of convenience. Now, this is a story we've been following since last week after one of these residents contacted us. Now, since then, we've learned about the Delta Water District. They're in a constant battle of repairing and replacing these fences. It's got to be somebody's responsibility to fix the fence again. Now just take a look at one of these open gates along the canal. Residents want them locked. It has to be done to keep children from drowning. We called the water district on Friday and they put locks on the gates the same day. We also found this fence's lock missing and the gate left wide open. It was also replaced later. We found this guy walking along the canal and he had to hop the fence to get out because the gate was locked. I'm not just concerned about the traveling up and down, but the safety of people's lives. But sometime over the weekend, someone stole the entire gate right off the hinges. The water district says they spend thousands of dollars each year repairing or replacing these fences. For everybody, it's a pain in the butt that live along the canal. Nobody seems to hold any responsibility to the fencing. Along the canal that runs parallel with M Street between Southgate and Ming Avenue, you can find fence after fence cut open. The water district keeps fixing, but the vandals... They just, they just cut right through the chain link fence. And businesses and residents along the canal say when the district doesn't fix these fences, that's when the problem begins because they say people have access to the canal area and that's a catalyst to more vandalism and property theft. Well, they've stole about $800 worth of property and it took them a good month to close and chain up the gate and they still could get through because there's an open line there. Now, in the past, the water district installed video cameras, but those two proved to be ineffective because they were stolen. Reporting in South Bakersfield, Mark Christian, 23, ABC.